What's going on guys? So uh, a lot of people actually requested me to uh, upload this and I just played this deck today and uh, it's really fun. It's Light Sworn, uh, but it's basically as consistent as you can really get Light Sworn to be. Um, I really like this deck. Uh, I think it's way better than Dragons, but that's just my personal take on it. But anyways, yeah, we'll get into the deck profile and then I'll explain uh, why I'm doing some things that you're like, wait, why are you doing that? Anyways, so we got Triple Celeste. Uh, the reason why we run Triple is because you have Triple Wolf and you have Triple Hamster and Triple Raikou. So Raikou helps mill this guy over here. Hamster helps out get out the Raikou so you can side for Celestia. As you guys can see, it's a really good play. Um, and then um, next up, we got uh, one Aaron, one Garoth, uh, Gors, because obviously you need those hand traps. Um, one Honest, one Jane, three Judgment Dragon, one Lumina, um, Two Lila, three Araika, three Hamster. Now, two Trag. Trag is really critical because uh, uh, sometimes when you just open those hands where you just can't like do anything, like you open up like a Wolf and you open up like Duality and like a Gold Sark, it just really helps make the uh, the deck survive just the extra few turns. And that's why I kind of opt to play over Battle Fader because Battle Fader survives basically. You know, it comes out then it blocks like one attack and then the next turn. Whereas Trag, it's like oh, it's kind of a threat. They actually have to like deal with it. Sometimes you can win a game by just dropping Trag and then it's like too strong and they can't get over it. Um, next up we're playing Tragedy Brigade, three gold sarcophagus, um, Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, two reincarnations. Uh, you could opt to play Beckoning Light over this card, but personally I feel like uh, this card is just a little bit faster. Well, it is definitely faster. Um, but, you know, it, it's less sacky because with Beckoning, I mean, you do have to set it, but Beckoning is like so sacky we can go like, oh, let me just get rid of this hand. Let me just add Three Dragon Dragons and an Honest. Okay, damage step, I drop my Honest. It's just way too good. Uh, but the thing is, you know, Monster Reincarnation helps you finish off the game this turn. That's why I like it. Um, next up, playing three Duality, three Soul Recharge, and Forbidden Lance. And you're like, wait, why are you playing Lance? Uh, earlier I was playing Dark Hole in it, but like, you don't need Dark Hole. Like, that's not your win condition. Like, sure, you can Dark Hole and summon like a Lila and attack for 17, but like, how good is that? That doesn't like win you the game. Winning you the game is with this card right here, Judgment Dragon. So I figured we'll, we'll drop uh, a Dark Hole. I mean, I know Dark Hole's amazing, don't get me wrong, but uh, I've made Light Sworns in the past, and I feel like Dark Hole isn't really something that you need in Light Sworns to actually win. I mean, it helps you maintain a control over the field, like as far as, far as monsters, like you to clear your opponents like Thunder King if you need to. But the thing is, um, Getting out Judgment Dragon and having it just survive, which is why Lance is there instead of Dark Hole, just helps out so much more, especially now since people are playing Bottomless. Like, I haven't, like, so many times, like, someone Judgment Dragon, and then they're like, oh, Skill Drain. And I'm like, oh, it's cool, Lance. Because, like, obviously they do it after I pay my 1,000, and then the effect's already, you know, going through, then, like, Lance, and then uh, from there, it's just, like, my poor opponent. Uh, but anyways, most games, actually, literally, like, like, I'd say, like, 90% of the time, I make this card in this deck. And how that's done, basically, is either by milling Wolf. Like, if I mill Wolf, and then, like, I go summon Lila, uh, pop one, and then I go, uh, make, uh, Jijin here. It's just so good. Like, um, earlier there was a, there was a game with Dark World, and, uh, I had, um, unfortunately he had Skill Drain, but, like, th it would have been such a cool play, because I would have been able to clear the field, had uh, a 1800 meter plus, you know, I'd have the Judgment Dragon. So, it allows me to uh, blow up the field when, you know, I have uh, the Symphony Djinn on the field, and I'm able to just be like, okay, attack with Judgment Dragon, attack with this. And what's funny is this card was a Fiend, too. <laughs> so it, like, helped with uh, the gates. Like, it, it boosted me an extra 300, too, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, but, yeah, other than that, um, I mean, I do make level 4s in this quite easily. I'm, I just tried to put Utopia right in here. And uh, Utopia is hiding. I, I swear he's here, although you can't see him. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Utopia. He should be in here. It's cool. I'm playing Utopia Ray, but I'm not playing Utopia. But uh, anyways, yeah, Utopia should be here. You can take out like any of these synchros, but not Sardis Dragon because it's like Sardis. You need, you need Sardis and you need Catastro. I feel like those are like the most staple of uh, synchros. Uh, on top of a Scrap Dragon, kind of, but he's a little bit harder to make. Uh, just as you have like Reborn, so you Reborn like a Valor and you have this, uh, like a Wolf or something. Um, but basically, yeah, it goes for level 4, it's quite easy. Uh, I haven't brought out Blade Armor Ninja yet, so I might just take this card out. Uh, and I haven't been able to really make a 3, so, like, so, so I haven't been making uh, this or this, or Zen Man should be in here too. I mean, literally guys, I made this deck today, and I've already had so many people PM me on uh, the deck profile. Because, I mean, I literally have won every game today, except for this one Chain Burn game. And, uh, and some of the other games I just sacked them, so I'm not going to upload those, it's not very fun to watch. Light Sworn, like, absolutely destroy someone, uh, like, with, where they can't even do anything. But as far as the side deck, I'm still, like, working on it, so, basically, uh, like, Chain Burn. 
<laughs> I got you covered. Like, Decree just, it wrecks them so hard. Um, and I'll have that Space Typhoon. Uh, is against any, like, E-Hero deck, because E-Hero is always side in skill drains. Um, they always expect the Decree, so, like, obviously, like, Gemini Spark will be there anyway, so. Um, I feel like um, when you go Judgment Dragon, Activate Effect, you go Skill Drain, you go MST, and it's just, it works pretty good from there. Um, and on top of that, any other, like, uh, Skill Drain or, like, uh, if they decide to side in Light Imprisoning Mirror, I guess you could use this as well. Um, I, I like this card and Decree, like, both are, like, just too good in here. Uh, and then Dark World are still popular, and um, this is for like wind up plus um, Dark Worlds, uh, wind ups, and Insectors. Insectors lose to Diddy Crow so much. I mean, I played Insectors forever, I topped with it. And honestly, Diddy Crow hurts that deck so much that it's like, eh. It hurts so much because if you're saying you're activating your effect and then they crow the target, you still have to uh, like reveal that you can equip if you. You still have to equip, essentially, is what I'm saying. Uh, and that hurts so much, because like, sometimes you have to equip like a Dragonfly to a Dragonfly, and at that point, you've basically lost. Especially since you can't even activate, you know, uh, any Hornet popping. It just... Diddy Crow hurts them so much. Um, also, what is this good against? Uh, maybe like Frog Monarchs, but no one really plays that. Although I played against it a long time ago. Uh, maybe like a week ago? But anyways, yeah, uh, getting off subject, uh, deck profile. So, um, honestly, uh, you should be playing Tyrus and Adrius. Um, I couldn't tell you how many times I've had the opportunity to go for Tyrus. I really do like Tyrus, um, just because he, uh, his effect is that it can't be destroyed by card effects. And, like, if I have a Celestia, and, like, I, I popped, you know, all their cards, and, um, I, I can reborn a Tyrus. Uh, I'm sorry, not reborn Tyrus. Reborn another Celestia, essentially. Um, sometimes if I want to do that, I can make that that way. Next turn, I don't have to worry about a Dark Hole. Because Dark Hole obviously does hurt, but you have one Lance. I, d I don't think that's a good play to, like... Because then your Dragon's only at 2200. But it could be okay. Um, but yeah, uh, I c couldn't tell you how many times I actually should have went for Tyrus um, when I had the opportunity. Or Adrius. Adrius, they're both really great cards. Um, they're like both Light and Dark, so they're like super meta. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of this deck. I think it's personally really good. I like it better than Dragons. Because uh, I was playing against Dragons so much, I'm like, you know what, Dragons aren't even good. Well, Dragon Light Sworn. And like, this is so much better. It's like, you can have your Light Pulse Stars effect. I don't care, I'm going to win this turn. Where I have Judgment Dragons. Plus I have a, a lot better consistency, I feel like, with the Hamsters. Like, when you're playing like the Light Sworn Dragons, sometimes you don't have the names. Uh, sometimes you mill that Future Fusion and you're like, dang it. But like, if you open up Future Fusion, I still opt to say that that, that deck just explodes when you have Future Fusion. Um... And on top of that, so many people are playing bottomless now that it really does hurt the uh, light pulsar because you go like so minus when you special summon it from the grave and then you uh, get bottomless uh, because then you have to go like minus two in the hand and yeah, at that point you've basically lost, uh, I feel like. But yeah, and this like gets it out pretty fast and it's just really consistent and I feel like it can survive a lot longer than sometimes uh, light sworn dragons can because I did try that out for a while and I didn't really like it too much to be honest. But, um, yeah, definitely, um, you could, you know, maybe play some tour guides and maybe take out, like, this, take out one of those, one of those, one of these, and then it'd be like, okay, maybe these four, okay, we'll put in the tour guide engine, and you can then go for level threes. But, yeah, so that's in the deck profile for the, uh, uh, I don't know what you call this, like, hamster consistent light sworn. I really like this deck, I feel like this deck is pretty solid. But, uh, yeah, that one lance in there is just, like, kind of the tech card. Uh, but as far as the extra deck, uh, I honestly would put puppet plants in there and as well. Uh, maybe you just like drop the Dark Hole like straight up. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny to see someone top without Dark Hole. I'm going to try uh, maybe uh, at the next regionals with this uh, deck because it's just a, a really fast deck. Like it's so fast. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Asianized White Dragon signing out.